Hey, what up, guys? Coming here this morning, another What's Next. This is on um, Daniel Roman, former unified super bantamweight champion that's 122 pounds. We're going to take a look at what he could be doing next. Um, first up, uh, you know, we're running through the. Well, Roman in his last fight. Jesus. Roman in his last fight um, lost the unified title when he took on Mirajan Akhmadayev in a mandatory, a WBA mandatory fight, and um, lost by a very close split decision. Now, he wanted a rematch, but Akhmadayev has an IBF title mandatory due against um, Ryosuke Iwasa, so he's likely gonna be doing that next, is uh, Akhmadayev, so doesn't look like Roman's gonna get the next crack at the, uh, at the unified belt, so um, let's run him through the top 10 and see uh, what's possibly next. Now, he, we haven't heard anything for sure about what he's doing next, but um, he is the WBC's number one ranked contender right now, but he has not been mandated to challenge for that title. So, again, let's start with the top 10. We start with number one, a rematch with Marajan Akhmadayev. I'm not seeing this fight. I like the fight. I like the matchup a lot, but um, I don't think him and Akhmadayev are... Um, gonna get together right away because after Dayev has that um, has that uh, mandatory title fight with Ruske Iwasa do next and I think that's what he's gonna be doing number two is Roman number three is Navarrete he's not gonna take the risk of crossing the street when he has other options and he can build himself up and go after uh, another world title he's coming off a loss too I don't think he'd want to take the risk and go over to ESPN and face Navarrete so I'm not seeing it number four is undefeated WBC champion Ray Vargas, um, you know, he's he is the WBC's number one ranked contender. The WBC has not mandated him to face Vargas. Um, you know, I guess they could, but they haven't yet. So uh, right now he just, um, I think he he's either gonna mandate that fight by fighting there or he might just uh, stay busy a ahead of what possibly could be a rematch with the, uh, you know, with Akhmadayev or he could face Iwasa if Iwasa were to upset Akhmadayev. So, um, I think that that's going to be one of the two things yeah, he's deciding on right now and to see if the WBC is actually going to mandate him to compete for that belt. So we'll see what goes down. Um, number, uh, he's not, that was number four. Number five is Ruske Iwasa. Iwasa is in line to challenge for the, the WBC, um, or is in line to um, challenge for the unified title against Akhmadayev. So this one, I don't believe, has a chance of happening next. Number six is Azat Havanasian. Now here's it, here's something interesting. I think this fight's very possible, and the reason I say that is because um, because uh, Havanasian's the number one ranked contender in the WBA right now. So I really think Havanasian could could face um, Roman uh, to determine the next mandatory challenger for the WBA title, whether it be um, you know, and and that could lock him up for a showdown with. Uh, Akhmadayev in a rematch if Roman were to beat Havanasian, but it is high risk, you know, because um, Havanasian is a beast, and uh, Roman's in for a full load, and to be honest, I think Havanasian would beat Roman, so that's, you know, that's if he could get, you know, if he wanted to go out to the WBA's mandatory number one to to lock in the Akhmadayev fight, I think that can happen, I'm leaning towards the less likely, but definitely could happen. Um, number seven is undefeated Brandon Figueroa. Not going to happen. The, he's a WBA regular champion. He's making a mandatory defense against um, against Ronnie Rios next. Number eight is Ronnie Rios. Um, not going to happen. He's making he's challenging for the WBA regular title and that mandatory title fight against Brandon Figueroa next. So that's not happening. Number nine is Inuit Baluda. Um, Baluda's coming off of an upset win over TJ Dahani. Uh, give me one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, uh, I'm not getting out of the car again. <laughs> so, um, Baluda, yeah, he's coming off that win over TJ Dahani for the, uh, you know, in a big upset. Um, and he's going to be looking at a possible, uh, he could be looking at a rematch with Dahani, but I think it's possible if Eddie Hearn wants to keep Daniel Roman right there to possibly face Akhmadayev in a rematch, I think Baluda's a perfect type of opponent to face in the meantime because. Baluda beat 
TJ Dahani, and that was the last guy that Roman beat, and Roman barely beat Dahani last year. So I think it's definitely possible that, you know, um, that Roman and Baluda could get together because Baluda wouldn't be seen as a as a guy that could upset Roman. So Roman would go in a pretty sizable favorite into that fight. And, um, you know, I think there's a, you know, a decent chance this fight could happen because, because Baluda's coming off that big upset. So, yeah, for sure, I could see this fight going down. Um, number, so he's he's number nine. And then number 10 is a rematch with TJ Dahani. You know, Dahani did say in an interview, he had, one, he has not mentioned at all rematching Baluda after that upset in March. He has not said that he would fight Baluda again or that he even wants to. He said he kind of just wants to get back to where he was and get big fights. So he didn't say he would take a tune-up next, even though I personally feel that's what TJ Dahani is going to do. Um, he did say he wants to get right back in the mix, and he did mention Daniel Roman's name possibly. So I think there's a chance that he could be going after um, uh, Daniel Roman next, and they still could rematch, and Roman just, you know, both guys just kind of uh, face each other. And then the winner possibly face the winner of Iwasa and, and Akamadayev, especially if Akamadayev wins and beats Iwasa, which he would be the favorite going in. So um, interesting turn of events right there on how things could shake out. But yeah, I do think it's possible. So what do I think Roman's going to do next? Honestly, I think it's kind of up in the air right now. I think he's going to wait around to see if the WBC mandates him as a number one contender. If the Akamadayev and Iwasa fight does follow through and those two guys go at it, um, if he wants to roll the dice coming off that loss, uh, I really think a fight with Azat Havanasian would, would lock him in to the WBA, uh, to the mandatory title shot in the WBA. Um, I also think that uh, Inuit Baluda and TJ Dahani just to kind of kill some time and wait around to possibly face Akhmadayev next. Because Akhmadayev, if, if he beats um, Iwasa in his next fight, he should be in optional mode. Um, so he could face Roman again, and I think Eddie Hearn would probably push for that because Roman is his fighter. So I definitely think that this fight is uh, that you know that, that that could happen, and I'm probably leaning that way. So I think it, it could be Baluda, really could be the next guy for Roman or somebody on that level. It could even just be a stay busy fight if Roman just wants to wait around to face Baluda. So we'll see, but that's what I think could go down. That's the what's next on Daniel Roman, the former unified super bantamweight world champion. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.